Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. We are in Montego Bay, Jamaica. It is March 4th, uh, 2023, and we are staying at the Royal De Cameron. I'm gonna take you through the breakfast buffet and uh, show you what they have to offer here in Jamaica. So this is called the Jam Rock, and this is how they do the spread. You can grab your coffee, you just want to get coffee or tea in the morning. They got like hot water, hot coffee, um, milk. And there's all this assorted teas. And over here, they've got uh, all your food. You know, walk around and grab a little bit of everything. We got pancakes, French toast. Carol said the French toast is amazing. Sometimes they run out of things. The other day they didn't have any syrup. Let's just do a little syrup. There we go. Not too much. You can put cinnamon, granulated sugar. Morning. Morning. We got ketchup, poached eggs. I uh, usually have um, scrambled eggs in there, but they don't have any yet. Tomato salsa, spicy tomato salsa. Salt, pepper, you can get uh, your fried eggs or omelets made here. They already have some omelets made, which is super handy. Saves a lot of time, and I'm gonna do an everything omelet. Put that off to the side. And over here, we have, sometimes we have some Jamaican style foods. We have roasted potatoes. Not really my cup of tea for breakfast. And then we have chorizo sausage. I haven't tried these yet, so I'm gonna give them a shot. I can't help you. Corned beef and macaroni. I've gotta try it, right? Give it a shot. You got Salami ham. Interesting. And we got cheese sandwiches. That's the first time I've seen those here. Oh, and then we've got a beef broth soup. You grab your bowl. Ooh, steamy. Again, not my cup of tea for breakfast, but. Sauteed baked beans. Banana fritters. You gotta do a banana fritter. Steamed vegetables. Their chicken stew here at this resort is amazing, but they don't have it right now. Usually at the lunchtime they have it, and it is fantastic. It's like a kind of like a jerk chicken, but definitely uh, a little different. But it still has that kind of flair to it. And then boiled potato. Again, not my idea of breakfast. And then we'll find our seat. We got a nice seat outside. And hopefully my uh, my guys here today. His name's Kevin. So they have a lot of seating. This is the uh, lobby bar. Morning. Morning! Super friendly staff, of course. Later on, we'll be getting a red stripe on tap for sure. They ran out of, um, I guess, the kegs, so they had to do cans, emergency situation. Oh, I forgot to show you over here. Let's just put this down. Hello. Hi. So here's the view that I get to look at. Look at that. Little clean sanitized table for me. I'm gonna put that there for a minute. And uh, that's gonna be my view. But I wanna take you over to this area. I think there's a spot up here. I think my, that's my guy, Kevin. Morning, Kevin. All right, how are you doing? Doing well. So here's all the fresh fruit. Carol's favorite right there. The pineapple. We got watermelon, honeydew, more watermelon. Then we've got uh, 
<laughs> More watermelon and grapes. This is for the yogurt. The yogurt bar. And fresh bananas. Another water station and coffees area. Porridge. Sometimes there's other stuff in here. I guess they lost the spoon. Oh no, that's a piece of cinnamon. So nobody, nobody's dipped into the porridge yet. Stuff's missing so far. And then we got watermelon juice and fruit punch. Grab your own cup. We have mango chutney. But flavored butters. Nice. Got your toast bar. Bread. Buns. Oh, that looks good. Oh, look at that. They, yesterday they had, um, what did they have here? They had cinnamon buns and they're super glazed. They looked amazing. But that looks good too. And then over here, we have our toppings. Tomatoes, cucumber, onions, lettuce. And then we have our little cheese bar. And they, they seem to always have this cured ham every single morning. And over here is the cereal and juice bar. We have orange juice, assortment of cereals, and uh, whole milk, strawberry milk. You got your bowls, and you got your uh, oats. I guess you'd put that on top of your cereal, I don't know. Dried pineapple, peanut, I guess they're just toppings. So Carol's actually down there reading right now. So she got one of the middle ones. She'll be joining me later. So there's my brekkie. All right. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good, and you? Excellent. Awesome. How many person? Just one? Just one. Yeah, my wife's at the beach, so she's reading. Do you so, want coffee? Oh, uh, yes, no? yeah, uh, yes, please. Yeah, yes, please. Thank you. Yeah. Good morning, Kamisha. Good morning. All right. All right, let's start the day off with that for sure. All right, going in for the extreme close-up of this breakfast. Let us know in the comments below what you would have chosen for your ultimate meal here at the Royal Decameron. And uh, I tried a little bit of, I guess not everything, but again, there's some things that just aren't to me breakfast worthy. Don't know what to try first. I'm gonna try this uh, sausage. Just got a little bit of um, <laughs> syrup on it. The sausage is very flavorful, nice and spicy too. Right near the end, it got really, really spicy. Cheers. Your coffee's pretty good. It's not the Blue Mountain stuff, which is a very expensive coffee here, but it's still a good coffee. It'd be interesting to know if the coffee comes from Jamaica, but it probably does. They grow a lot of things here but they're slowly not growing sugarcane anymore. So it seems. They used to do a lot of it, now not so much. So I've been told. The French toast is amazing. Pancakes. Not bad. The French toast is way better. If you don't know which way to go, Go French toast, so much better. And I think I've asked this before, do you guys love your salsa on your eggs or do you like your eggs just the way they are with all the fixings? Onions, green pepper. Doesn't look like they put cheese in this one. Nope, but the red onions are nice and crunchy, strong. Definitely have to brush your teeth after that. Here's our banana fritter. They get kind of tough near the edge. I'm not sure if they're supposed to be that way or... Banana fritter. That one's pretty good. I had one one of the first days we were here. And I guess we came down late and it uh, got a little bit more tough along the side. But this one is definitely a little easier to, uh, to cut and to eat. Let's check out this macaroni. Mmm. <laughs> so they're like ground up corned beef. <laughs> that was an interesting 
uh, texture, flavors. Um, definitely has that corned beef flair to it. <laughs> Never had that before. One of the things I heard that the Jamaicans like to eat every morning, there's like some type of a fruit. And when they cook it up, it kind of looks like scrambled eggs. So a lot of people will grab that thing at scrambled eggs, but it's not. It's like the certain fruit and fish. So uh, kids don't like it whatsoever because their brain's expecting eggs, but it's uh, sometimes with the fish and fruit. I don't remember what the kind of fruit is. This isn't bad. Kind of a strange breakfast item. Like you can actually see how much texture that has in it. It's very granular, but it tastes good. I'm quite surprised how good that is actually. But my favorite things here are the, for breakfast anyway, the French toast, um, definitely omelets. Uh, definitely try this uh, macaroni and, and uh, corned beef. Because it is pretty good. And the sausage is not bad. If you like spicy stuff at breakfast. I know a lot of you guys tell me to put the hot sauce on my eggs. I can't do it. I like the flavor of my eggs as they are. It does look like they do put um, maybe some sugar on it and some cinnamon, but they also give you the option of putting more cinnamon. Cinnamon. It's a nice bread. Nice thickness to it. Like I said, the coffee's great. There is, uh, they are playing some music, but it's not uh, like Jamaican music, which is which is what I prefer. They get kind of get crazy later on at lunchtime to dinner and, and beyond. But uh, and you haven't heard it yet, but we're right by the airport, which isn't too bad. Um, when they're taking off, they take off that way, so the the jet blast goes that way, and uh, it just kind of sounds like thunder. When, he, when they start to take off, you get kind of used to it really easily. And then, but you, we're right in the flight path, so you get to see the the planes coming in over the mountains across here, and then they land maybe about a kilometer or two that way. So it's kind of neat watching the planes land. I would imagine the hotels to the east of us would uh, get the whole revving up of the engines as they took off and went north. I like this box, good. So like I said, uh, every morning you come down, there are a few different things. Some things are every single day, like the pancakes and, and French toast are every single day. Of course, the eggs and bacon and stuff are every single day. Sometimes there's a run out of stuff. And uh, there have been a couple months where they didn't have any bacon, uh, but then they do, they're like the next day, so. You have to be patient. I'm gonna polish the rest of this stuff off and I'll see you in a minute. I got the clean plate award. <laughs> Nailed it. It's not mandatory here in Jamaica to leave a tip, but it's always nice to leave a tip. And so $250 Jamaican is about $2.22 Canadian, uh, which is good for a breakfast buffet. When we have our uh, a la carte dinners, I usually leave a thousand, which is about $8.88, something like that. But anyway, we're all done here for breakfast. Thank you. Thank Oops. you. <laughs> See you later. See ya. As I was walking through, I noticed they put chicken here. So the chicken stew is amazing. It is a go out and get it now plus. It is a highly recommended item here at the Cornwall. Well, there you go. That is an all you can eat buffet here in Montego Bay.